Hello Soul Tribe friends and family. I'm here for a collective message today. This is for all signs. So you could be any zodiac sign. As always, it's general and it's timeless. So just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or an Akashic Record session for past life regression, I do still have a 22% off coupon for all Akashic Records. Check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and my email. Just a reminder, too, that both Kai and I have an introduction to the Akashic Records workshop, along with an Akashic meditation at the end on the Lionsgate portal. So it's going to be very potent energy on 8-8. So feel free to also sign up for that. As always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your blessings. Feel free to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you would like to know when the next video does come out for Pisces or the Collective. Now, the only message it is that I'm receiving so far for this particular collective message is it is the bee that pollinates the flower. It is the bee that pollinates the flower. The flower just sits and receives the bee's pollination. OK, so there could be something on its way to you. Um, you may be called to embody the flower, which maybe is just being in your feminine energy, whether no matter what gender you identify as. Uh, the feminine energy is you simply receiving. The bee will pollinate the flower. There's a need for you to not chase whatever it is that you're desiring right now because I do feel like it's on its way to you. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for the collective today? You have precognition, psychic ability, future vision. You do have touching earth, planting something new. Today is the full moon in Aquarius. Again, whenever you come across this video, it can be for you. It's a super moon, so there's a lot of potent energy. You may even feel a little bit tired because of the super moon. Why do we have precognition and psychic ability? Yeah, there it goes. The green man. Rising energy surge, fertility, which that is the energy of the bee and the, the flower, right? Because there's some sort of pollination. There's some sort of... Um, fertility energy okay so there's definitely something growing here you have planting something new it's like whatever seeds it is that you have sown they are going to plant they're they're going to sprout rather um, a rising energy surge okay so there may be a lot of abundance coming towards you at this time definitely something about psychic ability or future vision maybe you've had a future vision of something some sort of precognition of something that's coming in in general let's see what that is I'm gonna get one more card why the green man and precognition temple of the rose ancient power expression activation scarlet codes okay i did just post something too in the um community posts about temple activations as a collective right now there's a lot of temple activations for those it is that feel it i know i've been feeling it a lot of my soul brothers and sisters just all over the world have been feeling it a lot of temple activation a lot of ancient remembrance and codes okay uh, scarlet codes can also mean something to you rose codes diamond codes rainbow codes as well um there is something that's coming in for you 333 as i say that and it does say plant yourself here so a lot about planting maybe some of you have even started a garden uh, this, so this could be figuratively or for some of you this resonates you even like started a garden or it's just a figurative garden of something it is that's really growing for you in your life right now and you're going to start to see those flowers or you're going to start to receive what it is that you need to be receiving a lot of also sacred union within for the green man precognition and temple of the rose what do we have for the collective today that's a one card energy yeah look at that and it's literally so it's the ace of cups but in this deck there's a flower coming out of it okay you are a beautiful flower and all you have to do is just be open and ready to receive what it is that's coming in for you ace of cups this is a this is you know overflowing your cup is going to overflow. Expect for your cup to overflow. Expect to receive. Again, we do have that Lionsgate portal that's already open. Okay, a lot about fate and destiny. You're going to receive what is for you. Yes, it's a lot of downloads, a lot of intuitive downloads, a lot of soul healing and remembrance. I also feel like physically you're going to be receiving things as well. 
All right. The things that are meant for you at this time, what's most aligned to your highest timeline in this moment. Why the Ace of Cups for the collective? The Temperance card. There goes the rainbow. Okay, a lot of rainbow codes here. I feel like this is a very zen, and there go, there's even bees in this picture, okay? So the bee pollinates the flower, and whatever that means to you, because that could be many meanings. Um, you do have the Hierophant over here. So you're going through a big spiritual upgrade, okay? I get a lot of angelic energy here as well. Archangel Michael. Why the Ace of Cups with the Temperance? Two of Wands, okay? Two of Wands is something new coming in. It's a new opportunity. It's excitement towards the future, okay? There are things that are coming in for you. And this person's looking down, right? Looking down over there at this big city. That could be the precognition as well. You're starting to get some clarity of like, what's coming in for you? What's next on my path, okay? King of Cups, that is your energy um, right now, you know, which again, the King of Cups, yes, it's a masculine, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have the star card. It could also be Aquarius energy. I feel like you're really just attracting things right now. You know, you're like a bright and shining star. And by star, I mean like the star body. Um, the star body is what's coming through. Like your star self. And um, it's very multidimensional when I say that, like your star body. Feel free to go look up what your star body is, what it means. Um, this is a lot of downloads. This is a lot of psychic activation to like your spirit body. I'm also like getting like your star body. Sirius can also resonate with you. All right, what's this two of wands here? What's coming in? You have the king of wands. What or who is this king of wands? Page of coins and the fate card, okay? It does have Lionsgate portal uh, energy with the fate and destiny. Page of coins. There's going to be an opportunity that comes in for you. Could be through an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There, wow. There's a bee that's pollinating the flower. Look, look literally a bee that's pollinating a flower okay aries leo sagittarius energy it may come through this energy you could be embodying this energy so take it as it resonates but there is something that's coming in for you king of wands is also a card of leadership of integrity um a boss kind of energy fire magnetizing all right so i i do feel like something that's very aligned to you that's faded for you at this time is coming in uh it's some sort of opportunity some sort of gift perhaps why the Wu Wei with the Page of Coins? The Magician, you are calling this in, okay? Very magical energy over here. All right, so like, again, the seeds it is that you've sown in the past. I'm getting like the past, all right? Um, they could be coming in for you right now. You're going to start to see it materialized for you. Look at that, Eight of Wands coming in right now. All right. And that right now is in like five minutes from now. Though will be open to it if it's five minutes from now. Um, but things are coming in for you. They're going to be materializing for you, okay? You've been going through a lot of activation. You've been going through a lot of healing. And I do feel like you are being blessed over here. This is a lot of alignment with your highest timeline. That's what I'm seeing more of just like there's this shift that's been happening at the unseen. The healing you've been doing, the clearing you've been doing, the spiritual work you've been doing. And you are like, I'm seeing like, almost like tectonic plates, you know, it's like, um, that's kind of like what just coming to my head of like how things like move, right? And you're really being shifted to your highest timeline and you're going to start seeing that. Why the star card here? King of Cups. Why the star card with the King of Cups? The High Priestess. And then you have Justice over here. Okay, so a lot of intuitive downloads at this time some of you are going through a big psychic activation as well this is a lot of remembrance again of like the temples temple of the rose ancient power high priestess is a very ancient power um he or she has a knowing you've been healing a lot okay so what's coming through too is so you've been healing a lot of your inner child You've been healing a lot of your traumas to clear distortions of like, again, trauma, right? And like the negative emotions because you're meant to have a clear intuition at this time. You've been going through a psychic upgrade and psychic upgrades aren't just like love and light and let's just like open the third eye. It's, it's doing that work to clear 
which if you watched the video I did on the Akashic Records with Kai, we talk about the third eye opening and it's clearing the lower three chakras. It's clearing the trauma so that your third eye is not distorted by fear and by trauma. And I feel like you've been really opening the heart over here, Ace of Cups, a lot of heart opening, a lot of trauma healing. Maybe you've been purging, crying more, just like the ugly stuff because your intuition is actually in heightening. And um, the trauma, the programming, all of that stuff needed to be out of the way for clearer vision. What's the Eight of Wands? What's coming in for the collective? Yeah, you are having opportunities coming in coming in the full card okay brand new opportunities here uh this could have to do with work especially when it comes to uh lionsgate portal mission purpose 144 as i say that you're going to be meeting souls that you're meant to work with that have pure intentions that you guys are aligned some of you actually shared like past lives in these temple spaces i'm getting like working together could again it could be spiritual or non-spiritual but there's some sort of soul recognition with people that are coming into your life and there's good opportunities for work coming in. Buy the three of coins with the eight of coins. Oh, baby. You're receiving. Okay, you be that flower. Look at the chariot. You be the flower. It doesn't matter if you're a man, female, they, however you identify. You are the flower. And just let the bee come in. Okay, six of coins. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of opportunities coming in for you. As always, have discernment, you know, about everything that comes in. The first thing that comes in may not be for you. Not everything that comes in is for you. But you have some beautiful things coming in. And it's because you've been clearing your channel. You've been clearing your vessel. It is August 1st. Whenever you come across this, make the room because it's coming in. Some of you work with cinnamon. I'm seeing cinnamon. All right, why the six of coins? The moon card. Why the six of coins? Oh, baby, you better go. You better go. You have the moon. It has diamonds on it, okay? Like diamond codes. You have the six of wands. You don't even really see what's coming in for you. You don't even see it. And I get this like excitement where I'm just like giddy and excited for you. Like you don't see what's coming in the moon card, okay? It's going to be revealed to you. I do feel like you've been doing a lot of subconscious work with that moon card. A lot of truth coming in. But the Six of Wands is here. There is an unforeseen victory. That's what I'm hearing. Unforeseen victory. Okay. Why the High Priestess here? The Hierophant. I just purred. So segment energy too. You have been going through initiations. Okay. This, this is for the people who resonate with the temple energy. You're on a priest or priestess journey, you know, and like, well, whatever resonates with you, it's a general and timeless reading. You have been going through these activations. You've been going through initiations and some of them have not been so easy, but you've gained a gift from it. Okay. It's like when you purge your emotions, when you do the healing, there is a gift that comes out of it. You've been gifted with wisdom. You're gifted with blessings. Okay. The Hierophant and the High Priestess here. By the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Oh, there goes Sekhmet strength okay um taming that inner lion some of you can resonate with segment there's also been a lot of anana ishtar energy as well that is the lion's gate portal okay like be ready to align to your highest timeline beyond what you see in this moment you are in aligning with your highest self which your highest self is so multi-dimensional calling back soul fragments um, some of you have been having dreams that um, have been giving you messages as well, like guidance. Why the strength card? The hangman. You've been in such a surrender. And this is the energy of just being open and ready to receive, just waiting. In like a little bit of a standstill, okay? You've been going through a huge awakening. And some of it hasn't been so love and light. It hasn't been so pretty. But you are being rewarded for this. Okay, why do we have the hang one? Because you're being brought to a whole new timeline. Two of coins. You've been balancing karma. You are being brought to a whole new timeline. Look at that. The six of swords is being brought to calmer waters. You are truly like jumping timelines. This is a huge paradigm shift for you. Um, whenever you come across this video. And it's by you doing the work. You know, you've been going through for a big psychic upgrade as well. The clearing of your channel and vessel um, has really made room. All right. What's the advice here? Seven of Wands, protect yourself. 
All right, protecting yourself. Why the Seven of Wands for advice? Seven, seven, there you go. Something could be about the Seven, seven portal over here. There's a need for you to protect yourself, your foundation, Seven of Coins over here. Why do we have the Seven of Wands and Seven of Coins? You have the Four of Swords in reverse and duality, okay? Some of you have like really had to protect your foundations but not resting as much. I feel like for some of you, it's coming more into your feminine energy because of your life, because of even these initiations and everything that's been going on. You could have been more in your masculine energy. You're being called to rest. Even if you feel like you need to do this, you need to do that, make sure you're making time, at least a little bit of time for rest. Four of Swords in Reverse is an unrested energy. Okay. Everything's going to be coming in for you anyway. There's a need for you to not work as hard. Have the balance, duality. So like have the balance of like, do not just lay around all day. But also don't work all day, you know. Um, you're finding this great balance for your own inner sacred union of what works for you. Everyone's going to be different. Everyone's life is going to be different. Some people are out in the jungle where it looks like they're resting all day. Some people are you know, running multiple businesses or working really hard, you know, like what's your journey? What works for you? Not every feminine or masculine life is going to look the same. So what's your personal balance? I feel like you're learning your personal balance when it comes to that masculine energy of protecting the forefront, um, but also resting. For some of you, um, you're really just like in this protective energy of trying to protect your foundation or whatever it is, but you're not resting as much. So uh, remember to make time for rest. I hope that this resonates. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or an Akashic Record session, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, or my email. What do we have for advice for the collective? You are doing it. We do have setting boundaries, okay? So, like, set your boundaries. Again, the, the balance of it. You have building your world creation expansion and networking you are going to be networking here i see people okay you're going to be networking you're creating something you are expanding business opportunities money things like that i do see a lot of opportunity and this is just um a reminder you have creativity here as well it's a reminder that um yes accept the abundance I feel like there's some opportunities that maybe don't include abundance or as much abundance but there may be a lot of abundance in that opportunity if that makes sense to you so be in places where you're around people that are like-minded um there's certain opportunities again that may bring a lot of abundance but don't start off that way and i don't i feel like the need to say that you know so what's another card of advice yeah trusting the seasons in the sacred waters okay you're coming out of a tough initiation cycle you're coming out of a lot of purging a lot of cleansing trust the seasons embracing change cycles of life transition and growth you also have the sacred waters nourishment replenishment health rest and self-care make sure you're taking care of yourself okay i do see a lot of energy here as far as like the advice that you're very protective right now and again there might be a lot going on in your life but you can kind of come out of that masculine energy or you could come out of like the protective i get like almost like rigid and you can like soften a little bit so the advice is to soften and to take care of yourself what's the final message for the collective delicacy fragility and transience the dance um, and then you have healing the earth on the bottom of the deck um, dancing can really help move around your energy too. Um, you also have delicacy and fragility, all right? Um, right now, it feels like, again, you're coming out of like a tough cycle, so be easy on you. You know, like um, you could feel very delicate right now or very raw emotionally or whatever it is. And so be easy on you right now, be soft with you. I feel like like your guides are but i feel like you're kind of hard on yourself you're harder on yourself than you need to be so feel free to rest and be easy on you that's what i have for you i hope that this resonates i'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day